the best professional development for teachers was just the best hands-on kind of scholarly engagement was that there would be nothing watered down in these graduate courses. It would be very stiff, heavy reading load that surely the teachers would complain about just as much as the graduate students. Uh, with one exception, which is that instead of a historiographical paper at the end, which is how most of these courses end, we would have them develop two lesson plans, one based on primary sources within uh, the, somewhere in the course, and then another based on a historical debate inspired by some of the readings, and that people would then go off and do some more work on. Each course, which had a symposium at the end at the Newberry Library, the Newberry Library was a, a prominent partner with UIC in the grant, and we would bring in a scholar to do a keynote address and the like, but really the primary function of the symposium was for the teachers to show off their lesson plans to their colleagues, and usually we get anywhere from 60 to 80 teachers from throughout the Chicagoland area coming in for those.